Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a little sit down video in a while for you guys and I also haven't done ever in my YouTube career so far and I don't know why I haven't a favorites video. You just like talk about things that are your favorite, right? I'm not, am I doing this right? I'm not. We are going to talk about February favorites. Um, that's like a series that a lot of YouTubers do to kind of just like explain like their favorite things that are happening um, or their favorite products, their favorite foods, their favorite clothes. So I'm just going to tell you guys um, a couple of different things that I have really been enjoying lately and hopefully you guys can try them out too. Um, we are going to start with beauty favorites. Now I'm not going to go really really in depth about my beauty favorites, just things that I've been like doing for skincare, makeup, etc. Um, I'm going to be doing a little YouTube makeup series with my makeup artist Chloe and she's going to do like a step-by-step -step how to competition makeup, her favorite makeup products, her favorite tips and tricks, and she is much more well-versed on makeup than I am, so I figured that would be a good way for you guys to learn a little bit more about makeup, not coming, coming from someone who's actually a professional. Something that I recently discovered is a beauty blender. Mine is all dirty, but this is the first time I've used a beauty blender. I actually have recently gotten um, a really good concealer from Sephora. It's a Makeup Forever concealer. Let me go get that quick. So this is the concealer that I've been using. Um, it is Makeup Forever. And if you go to Sephora, they'll actually like match your skin with this machine. Um, they'll take like a little thing on your face and like match your skin and it tells you exactly which color that you need to blend with your skin the best. So I just put the concealer here, here, and here, and then I'll dab the beauty blender and like the way that this thing blends makes your face just look so much more, uh, blends just makes your face look really, really good and clean and smooth. So I really like the beauty blender. I actually got a couple of makeup brushes from a company that I wanted to tell you guys about. Okay, so I might be butchering the name a little bit here, but the company is called Beau Gachis. I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Is that focused? If it's focused, it's not. Um, so either way, the Beau Gachis company, if you go on their website, I'll put the information in the description box for you guys. They have really high quality makeup brushes, same quality as MAC, Sephora, any of the more expensive makeup brush lines that you might be looking at um, in a makeup store. I'm not really like well versed on makeup brushes, but they sent me these and I've been using them. Like this one is what I use to put like my foundation on my face and then I'll have this that I use for my eyebrows and this I use for my like all over eye um, eyeshadow color. And they also just have a basic, um, I use this for my bronzer, just like a basic all over brush. Oh, the next thing for beauty. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you guys, my eyelashes. Okay, so as some of you may already know, I started getting eyelash extensions a couple of months ago. My first experience with eyelash extensions was not a positive one. It was actually like a really bad one. I went to a salon that didn't specialize in eyelash extensions. It was like a nail salon and then there was a lady there who learned how to do eyelash extensions apparently and like it was really painful. The whole experience was really irritating to my eyeballs. Um, I felt like I was like the glue was like a fume that was really irritating to my eyes and the eyelashes fell out after like a week. I was in the chair for two hours. It was just like, it was just a terrible experience. And then when I went back to get them filled, I didn't know um, anywhere else. And it was only $50 to get a fill. And that was kind of like throwing me off a little bit because it was less expensive and I've heard other people pay more money for um, their eyelash fills. So I have found a amazing, amazing lash artist. Her name is Jeannie and her salon is called Love Lash Beauty LA. So if you guys are in the LA area, you will go to her and then you'll never have to go looking for someone else again because she is like top quality. She knows a lot, a lot, a lot about eyelash extensions and how to do them perfectly. Um, she, you only are laying, getting a fill for an hour. It's not irritating at all. I actually fall asleep during the whole process and like take a nap. It doesn't hurt at all um, and they come out absolutely amazing. I get the volume lashes, which means that they're just like 
bigger than you can get a classic lash um, the volume lashes are just like a different technique to make them more filled a little bit bigger a little bit brighter those cost $150 for fills and the first initial set is $250 is a little bit more expensive however they will last you like three to four weeks for clients go back every three to four weeks and you're only in the bed in the laying in um, the bed getting them done for an hour instead of two hours so I think things like that are worth spending your money on there's uh, if you think about it I was talking to the makeup artist at Sephora um, if you think about what we spend our money on like I have no problem spending money on like supplements lululemon new, new workout clothes new Nikes things like that but when it comes to like beauty stuff I'm like do I really need to spend $30 on this concealer <laughs> but when you're um, getting certain things it's better to have a higher quality product or service I think personally so that is one of my beauty favorite tips and tricks that's like probably the number one thing that I've been doing to kind of like make me look not like a zombie less of a zombie this might seem like a shameless PE science plug but new favorite supplement is PE science ergonine okay yeah I am a PE science athlete I am biased. Um, I use all PE Science products and uh, you guys know that I don't promote anything that I don't actually use. So I use every single product that I will tell you guys about on here. Um, I guess this is just a new product that hasn't really been explained. Some of you have been asking me questions about it and it's one of my absolute favorite products so far. So Irganine is a daily supplement. So it's going to give you a lot of ingredients that um, you need daily I mean again I've talked about this before you don't need any supplements you need to focus on your nutrition and your training for first and foremost so if your nutrition isn't on point then supplements don't mean anything to you they're not going to help you they're going to make maybe 0.01% of a difference if you don't have your nutrition and training on point I highly recommend going in the description box clicking on my ebook and purchasing that so you can have everything that you need to know beforehand Anyways, back to my supplement favorite. Ergonine increases lean body mass, enhances recovery, and it includes true creatine, beta-ene, beta glutamine, alanine, HICA, and more. I am not going to bore you guys with all the ingredients, but essentially this supplement has a lot of different ingredients that you would normally take separately um, to enhance your training, to enhance your recovery. Um, again, you can kind of like look the things up and go on their website. Their website has all of the cited studies. Ergonies is a scientifically formulated blend of powerful ingredients designed to bring every athlete, bodybuilder, and physique enthusiast to the next level. Again, you kind of already have to have a nutrition and training plan in place before you purchase some of these supplements. Um, I usually just put like one scoop of this in a jug and then take it for the whole entire day. Um, I really like the iced tea flavor. This is an iced tea flavor. Some people have said that they like hate the iced tea flavor and I don't really like iced tea but I like that flavor a lot. They also have like tropical twist and nana berry and like fruity flavors so um, that is my current favorite product, my favorites. Moving on to food. I showed you guys this before. Icon Meals Cookies. Oh. Icon Meals Cookies created a cookie that's like this size, right? It's like a pretty big decent sized cookie. Um, compared to Lenny's and Larry's complete cookie, they are probably the same like width and height, but not the same girth. They're not as thick, um, but they are like three quarter, uh, one quarter of the calories as Lenny's and Larry's. One cookie is 174 calories, six grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. That is absolutely insane. For this whole entire cookie, it's not half of a serving of a cookie. I fucking hate that. Like, I hate when cookies are half of a serving. Who wants to eat half of a cookie? Like, that just, like, no. I want, I want to eat the whole thing. I can eat, like, one or two a day. I usually eat one every single day. And if you follow my Snapchat, then you know exactly what I mean because I have my PE Science Protein Waffle and my Icon Meals Cookie on top of it. Macros are, like, semi-moderate to high right now. So I can kind of afford things like that. That's why another thing that I can kind of afford, um, I have a salad every single day, so I've showed you guys my like how it should track my day on my fitness pal, I'll like link the videos for that up here. I have foundation meals that I eat every single day, I always have my protein waffles, I always have my salad, 
I almost always have like a variation of certain meals every single day, but I'll kind of just like switch up what I put on them, um, change things up to make it interesting. But those are the meals that I know work for me, make sure that I get all my like micronutrients in, things like that. So since I have some more kind of like macros to play around with now, I've been trying to switch up like what I put on my salads just because salads are, you can make them really fun. They can be really low calorie or they can be really high calorie depending on what you put on them. So these Southwest flavored tortilla strips are two grams of fat, four grams of carbs for like seven grams, which isn't really that much, but like the flavor of these is so good. I know it's like kind of a random favorite, <laughs> favorite thing, but really awesome. So another, just like fun way to make your food taste a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next section, which is going to be fitness based. Fitness stuff that um, I've shown you guys in the past, like what I have in my gym bag, I'll link the video for what I have in my gym bag. But some new things that I really want to kind of share with you guys about fitness. Um, I have this new app that I've been using for my music called the Fit Radio app. I'll show it to you guys. Orange box there, Fit Radio, if you can see that. Um, so if you click on Fit Radio, you can, I don't have like music that I feel like downloading, like I'm such like a person that just needs to have something already set for me. Um, this app, you can kind of click on like any genre that you want. So there's like mainstream, you can click on house, EDM. I usually will go to like EDM or something, or you can even go to like your favorite DJs and I'll just click on a random one, see if I like it, and then you can click favorites. DJ Euphoria, he's really good. And it'll just play like a whole entire playlist. I think this is like a 43 minute long playlist and you can keep going to the next one. They just have like banks and banks of so many playlists, it's ridiculous. And another cool thing that you can do with this app is that you can actually swipe and it'll allow you to like make a timed interval for yourself. So if you're doing HIIT cardio, which is what I was doing on prep when I had this and I'm not doing any cardio right now. I'm doing, okay, for my prep I'm doing 20 minutes twice a week of like moderate intensity cardio right now it's my off season and i really need to like make sure i'm recovering properly from all of the training that i'm doing i'm doing a lot of heavy training and hit cardio kind of like minimizes and recover a little bit so i'm not trying to lean down right now i'm trying to build up muscle for the next five or six weeks or so so minimal cardio but getting back to this when I was doing HIIT cardio, I would go ahead and like make the timed interval. I think it already, I already have it set. My timed interval was 20 seconds and my rest period was a minute and 40 seconds. You make it go when you make it go. So when you play it and you can press this button and then it'll like time you. When you're done, it'll ding. Kind of cool so you don't even have to like look at your phone when you're doing it or pay attention it's just one less thing you have to think about all right another one of my fitness favorites that i just got in the mail yesterday i just started using them yesterday are these wireless bluetooth headphones they're not beats by dre they are not a hundred dollar headphones they are thirty dollar headphones hold on i'm going to show you how i got them amazon.com the app so these are them. They're called Kinovo wireless headphones. Can you, sorry, Kinevo, K-I-N-I-V-O. Bluetooth stereo headphones. They are $24.99 as opposed to like $100 for most like of the big headphones. And I was kind of debating I, the fact that I even wanted the big headphones. Like I've always been the little earbud iPhone kind of girl but it's been really frustrating when I'm trying to squat and deadlift and I have my belt over here and I'm trying to put my phone in here and like on my pants and it's just like, doesn't, it just doesn't work. Really needing Bluetooth, head, Bluetooth wireless headphones. So these headphones, I just put them on and they connect to my Fit Radio app, which is amazing. But um, these kind of just go like this and they wrap right around your ears, which is kind of funny looking. So yeah, they do this, and then um, if I wanna like talk to somebody at the gym, I can just like take them out and put them here. And so far, I really like them. They're not like noise canceling, big DJ Beats by Dre headphones, but they're a good option if you want like a wireless headphone that covers your ears and um, is affordable, 24.99, you honestly can't even beat that. Okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna talk about in the fitness favorites category are favorite fitness people. 
So again, I've talked about Pardomas before in previous videos, but um, if you guys go to the Pardomas Instagram page or the Pardomas website, www.pardomas.com, um, you can go to at the Pardomas and then you can see all of the Pardomas athletes in photo shoots on here. So any of these girls involved with the Pardomas are going to be amazing fitness people to follow. The Pardomas kind of is choosing athletes that are inspiring, that are real, that are motivating, that actually put out good information. They're smart, they all have the same um, fitness and mindset mentalities I do as Emily Hayden does. So some of our athletes right now are Emily Hayden, Marie Wold, Lacey Dunn, Karen, um, Karen Nicole, uh, Randy Kennedy, Ali Stone, who else? Brittany Lesser. All of these people are motivational fitness like icons kind of or are building themselves up to be that way in a way that they're not teaching people negative things. They're not just trying to sell stuff to you. These are people that I actually honestly look up to as well. So if you guys head to the Pardomas athletes page as well, just so you guys can have a one-stop shop for like who you go to for your fitness icons, your fitness motivation, um, YouTube, all of the above. So if you guys are looking for more people, I highly recommend just going to the Pardomas athletes either website or their Instagram page and finding whoever is on there to follow. That is going to conclude my February favorites video. I hope that I did this right. I just listed a bunch of my favorite shit in a video and kind of rambled on about it. Uh, if you guys liked it, and I can totally do these once a month if you'd like, um, probably around the same time, like mid-month or so, I will do a March favorites video, an April favorites video, and every single month of the year favorites video if you guys want, if you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you kind of got something out of it and let me know if you try any of these things out that I have told you about and in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys. Talk to you later.